So after a long time, Pixel OS is here, the version Android 13, of course, and the security patch is what we have is general security patch. This is a latest update, which I found after installing this thing. This is a very new update. It's, it was not available with the previous update, maybe with the December security patch. And it's been a long time since the last update. So the new update is out officially available for many devices. And if your device supports the official version, you can go ahead and install this thing. Link is already available in the description. Or if this is not available officially for your device, maybe you can build it unofficially if you want to. This is Pixel OS and which other things included, new changes and everything I'll talk about in this video. So stay tuned and make sure to watch this video till the end. The first change which I found, the first visual change is the network speed indicator. You can see the status bar is having this network speed indicator. A lot of users need this thing by default in a custom room, so it's finally here. But one thing is disappointing that it is not able to, you, you cannot turn it off. The option is not present in settings. You can't turn this off. So this is the thing which you need to keep in mind. Moving on to the other options, we have the volume panel, which is of course just same, but we have expandable volume panel. This is not by default, by default you can adjust the media panel, but now you have the option to adjust the ring volume, media volume, and the alarm volume, all of these options. And this is considered as expandable volume panel, and it's included with this new update, which was not available previously as far as I know. So this is another visual change, which I found after installing this thing. Third one is the camera. This is the default camera, name is Aperture Camera, which is of course not a new thing for any other customer. It's already available in all other customers as far as I know, but maybe Pixel OS is now giving you this camera by default. Maybe if your device is having the official version and if you're not having the Aperture Camera pre-installed, maybe you are having the MIUI Camera pre-installed, it is device specific. But most likely, you will see Aperture Camera pre-installed, which is a good thing. By the way, Aperture Camera is a very good camera app compared to the normal Snap Camera, which was present with Android 12. Even Lineage OS 20 will give you the Aperture Camera pre-installed by default. I had tried the Lineage OS 20, not official version, unofficial version I'm talking about, and still it's good enough. By the way, Aperture Camera is good in the terms of it is having the ultra-wide camera support, videos which you can record, scan, all these options are good. And by the way, picture quality is quite good compared to the Snap Camera, the old Snap Camera. So this is good. It also have this option called a network, which is where you can adjust this network permission for the apps. For example, if I move on to these apps which are present, if I don't want to give network access to this app, I can simply choose the don't allow option. This is a very useful thing in the this is a very useful thing in the terms of privacy concerns. So if you are willing to do these kind of things, if you are interested in these kind of things, you can go and simply disallow the network access for a particular app if you want to. It's totally optional. This is a very good change, by the way. Another thing is if you move on to the internet tile, now you have the option for this hotspot. This is of course available in some other customers already. Pixel OS is now giving you this hotspot option, which is quite useful in some cases. If you always use hotspot, now you have the shortcut available. You don't need to use any separate tile to use hotspot. It's already present in the internet tile and this Bluetooth is also having the dialogue. If I click one click on Bluetooth, you will see this kind of dialogue, which is of course quite useful in some cases. This is also a visual change, which is included with this latest Pixel OS update. One more thing is if you move on to the sound and vibration options, you will be able to notice some differences compared to some other custom rooms. This is having this section named as additional settings which is having options just basically same but only the ui is bit changed the options are simply moved from here to here but things are just same dial pad tones etc etc vibration and haptics are almost same features available here and there by the way it is also giving you the pure black theme if you want to use the dark theme you can use a black theme if your device has the amulet panel amulet screen then you can use this feature and you will definitely love this thing as i always use this feature and if my custom home is not having this feature i use repainter for that which is a very good alternative of these things by the way it's paid and yes not all users are using that other than else things are basically same it is basically a pixel room which is having a little bit of extra options here and there but things are just basically same the stock pixel based custom room if you want to use this thing link is available in the description this is all thanks for watching and goodbye